we're going to talk about what to do when the use my location feature is inaccurate. Often when starting a new trip we use the use my location button because it's quick and easy and for the most part works great. On occasion if you're using a mobile hotspot or on some sort of a community internet or shared internet or perhaps you've got uh, uh, a location where the switch is down the street uh, in the neighborhood somewhere else and other firewalls, routers, switches are perhaps keeping it from determining your exact location. Uh, and every time you choose it, you end up with a, an inaccurate starting point. When this occurs, here's a great alternative. So we'll start a new trip, and I'll just start this from the beginning. We'll click a new trip, and we're going to give this a unique name. Uh, I like to use starter. Uh, the date is not particularly relevant because we'll change the date for other trips as we go forward. And I'm going to click create. Now instead of using use my location, I'm going to pick an exact address uh, of my home or where my rig is stored, wherever it is I leave from my trips consistently. Uh, in this case, we're going to start with something somewhat benign here, Pennsylvania Avenue. We'll just pick an address we all know, uh, but if this was my address, I'd plug it in there and I'd click Start Here. Of course, I have my trip settings. I don't have a need to change these right now, so we'll save that. And now I've got my location on the map exactly where it needs to be. Now instead of using this trip to create a uh, using this trip to create a new trip, we're going to make a copy. So I'll click the wrench icon, I'll choose copy, and we may call this we're going to take a run say out to uh, uh, Devil's Tower. So this is my trip. I'll click copy. Obviously I'm going to get my trip settings again. Nothing I really specifically need to change here. All the settings are the same as my defaults, which is exactly what I want. I'll save it. So now I've got a trip called Devil's Tower, and I can plan a trip. You can see my driving ring here. Uh, I can create my, trips, uh, my steps one step at a time, or I could actually find a Devil's Tower. If I could spell it. Devil's Tower, here we go. Uh, let's say we'll go with the KOA there. There it is. I can add it to my trip. We'll stay there three nights. That's enough. Two nights is enough. And add it to my trip. Now I've got a big long route and I can uh, build my trip throughout. I'll start back at the beginning and I'll start to build my trip out. Find out where my driving ring ends. Okay, that's where I want to sleep. I'll find a campground there, etc, etc, until I get to Devil's Tower. So, the great thing here is when I want to start a new trip, so there's my, there's my planning. So now we're going to start a spring break trip. I'll click on Open Trips. I'll click my starter trip. It's already got my exact location in it, which is exactly what we wanted. And I'm going to create a trip called Spring Break. We're going to click Copy, Save Trip Settings. And I can begin to build a trip out to wherever it is I'm going on spring break. The point is, I've created a trip called Starter that's in my active trips here that I can use as that starting template which is accurate every single time. When we created those trips from our starter template, the Devil's Tower here and the spring break, they inherited the date we had on our starter trip. So we're going to need to open one of those trips. We'll grab Devil's Tower here. And we've, we've got to change the start date of the trip. So when we go to our first stop, we click the edit icon. We're just going to change whatever day we're starting this one, say October 4th, and save that. And of course, all the other dates will be sequential as we add them in and create our trip and our stops and campgrounds and all that. But that's just a, a quick point. You know, most of the time the date you have in there isn't all that relevant, but there are some northern areas, northwestern areas where roads close at certain times of the year, and uh, RV Trip Wizard will reflect those uh, road closures. So you want that date to be accurate so you don't plan a, a route across something that's going to be closed by the time you get there. So uh, just remember to double check your dates after creating a, a copy from your starter template. This is a great alternative when the use my current location just doesn't function uh, in, in your area due to those internet issues.
Look for more of our videos on Facebook and YouTube. Just search for RV Trip Wizard.